Time for thinking ahead. My name is Chad Shepard and I'm from Philadelphia. Most of the time it's Philly, but when I want to make sure there's no misunderstanding, I say Philadelphia. So Philly has this swag, but Philly also has a sense of home, foundation. Um, so it's a big city, but it's not too big. A lot of people say Philly, but they're on the outside of Philly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, uh, mainly was in South Philly. Growing up there, went to school in Southwest Philly. Spent weekends with my dad in North Philly. So um, downtown was walking or bike distance for me. Uh, there's more Italians on the, on the south side uh, in Philly. And so you have a lot of Italians, you have a lot of uh, Vietnamese, um, you know, Asian persuasion. So it's a bit more diverse in South Philadelphia. Um, but as far as the brown folk, it's the same North and South. North is considered a bit more edgy, uh, sometimes more dangerous, you know. Um, but, you know, there's projects in the South and the North, you know, Philadelphia. I was the kid where the Bible says, in whatever state I am, there with to be content. I was content in all of it. I stayed a block away from the projects, so I did hang. Um, so, you know, I was on a mainly Italian block, uh, older people on the block that I lived on. And literally just a block away, everything changed. So I loved growing up there because I had the arts, which supported what's in, inside of me. The type of impact that the city had on me was based on the people that I was surrounded by, the circle that I was in, in the city. So uh, of course, it's just like at a church, you can have a number of churches within the church. And so, you know, different circles, um, different vibes, you know, um, in Philly. I wasn't impacted with any fear in Philadelphia. Though there was much to be afraid of, I just knew better, um, you know, than putting myself in those situations. Um, I knew when to be in and when to be out of the projects hanging with my friend. Um, I could sense automatically uh, the vibe of the area I was in. Uh, at one point, I looked at a guy just coming from the supermarket and just by looking at him, I could see that he was up to no good and that I was attractive to him in the sense that he wanted what I had. He thought that this would be a good move to make to steal my bike. I never looked back at him. I just picked up the speed on my bike. When I did look back, he was behind me running, chasing me. So I was always uh, very intuitive and I could feel what was around me. So I, never, I was never fearful, um, but I was always aware. What endears me to Philly is the sense of home. It's, it's some place being home and positively home is enough for you to love it, for you to be loyal to it. Um, even though I'm not there on a daily now, uh, I have kept the home, you know. And, uh, and back and forth, when I was living in New York, I was mostly in Philly, you know, because just of the sense of home, not because I was working there, or, um, you know, I was needed at all there, but it is always a sense of foundation, you know, and that's what home is, it's, it's foundation. And because there aren't negative memories, you know, or overly negative experiences there, it's a wonderful place for me to be because I'm a nostalgic kind of guy. You know, I like to remember where things started, where I come from. Uh, every time somebody comes to Philly with me, they always get a brief documentary talk is everywhere we go I'm saying and that's where this happened and I remember being over there and that's and I and you know I'm like a, a Philly at least South Philly tour guide the only difference that I noticed in Philadelphia from when I was growing up and right now is uh, the changing of places you know places change and so uh, the place that my mother would uh, treat me to and surprise me with uh, called Hillary's ice cream um, is now called the condom kingdom so <laughs> um, where I would get my shoes as a kid Buster Brown 
um, is now a smoke shop. Uh, places change, you know, and so you can feel that, you know, as, as you keep living, you know, you just keep seeing change, whether it's you or what and who's around you, you know what I mean? So other than that, Philly is still the same swag of Philly as I believe uh, I first moved out of Philly. Philly, I never was not home, always kept home uh, in Philly. But the first time I came to California, I believe, was in 93, 92 or 93, but I believe it was 93, 1993. Um, and that was because I was doing my first TV show called Sinbad uh, here. And then after that uh, run of doing those shows, went back to Philly for maybe about a year and then back to Los Angeles to do my second show, uh, which was Steve Harvey's uh, first show called Me and the Boys. From there I stayed for about 15 years uh, and did a quick six month um, tenure in Osaka, Japan, then came back to Los Angeles for about one year, then to New York for the following 11 years then back to L.A. to pick it up. A casting uh, director offered for me to audition or at least meet with a agent in New York. And uh, my mother asked if I was interested or if I wanted to do it. I just looked up and said, okay, sure. Uh, we went there. He was more enthused than I was. Um, he started sending me out on auditions. I immediately started booking them. And it was natural for me. You know, to do what I was doing. So it was never a decision like this is what I want to do. It was more this is what I'm doing. I, my, the only decisions I made was saying yes to the offer, saying yes to the audition. Uh, I gave it a shot, not necessarily knowing what I was shooting at. I believe you get out of it what you put into it. Get out of what what you put into it. I'm about to go to <laughs> that, that was that was the, the catchphrase. <laughs> so. <laughs> I believe you get out of it what you put into it. When it comes to acting or any business, I believe that as much as I exert myself is as much reward as I'll get. So at this time, um, I believe that uh, it's a good time because I'm putting my energy into acting in particular right now. And the more energy I'm putting into it, the more feedback I'm getting, um, the more progress I'm making. Once I decided to do it again because there were a few years that I wasn't in it. Um, once I decided to act again um, professionally and uh, concerning screen in particular, not just uh, theater, um, then those doors started opening because I kept paying attention to it and putting my energy toward it, doing what was necessary, what was within my power to do. And then what was outside of me started coming to me. And then of course I had to continue and be diligent in that. So now I am back in um, the professional side of acting, the business aspect of it, um, and recently have done some fun things, some fun projects. Yo, I'm Luke Cage. You wanna test me? You know where to find me. So this recent jump of mine has been to reposition myself. Um, I remember some years ago T.D. Jakes had a whole campaign, if you would, about repositioning yourself. So I believe that it's nobody's responsibility but mine to get what I want. I only want what's right for me. I feel that what's right for me is what's inside of me. So I'm not jumping because I think the world needs me or because, you know, God needs me or anything that, you know, could be attached to the idea of jumping that's outside of, I'm just simply following what's inside of me. But I feel responsible to do that because my only responsibility is me, you know. Uh, um, I also have a daughter, so I feel that my responsibility with her is to set her up to do what's inside of her and to be able to nurture what's inside of her. So this jump is for the both of us, is for me to be what I'm supposed to be, um, which I deem what's inside of me, that's all, and also to set her up to be able to do the same. I'm as far as the, the, 
the beginning of the jump a little bit maybe a little further than the beginning I I'm not sure because I can't tell exactly where I am mm -hmm. in the process all I know is I'm following what's inside of me and so uh, diligence is what uh, I feel is necessary this jump the jump being um, moving from a comfort zone to uh, something new that I have not experienced before but what I believe in that's what the jump is so uh, where I was before the jump was in a better financial place um, also having uh, a place to stay on a daily of my own um, this jump entails me staying in my car um, at night that is sleeping in my car um, though there are friends around um, I believe this is my journey and my responsibility so I do not want to um, you know be in their space uh, more than necessary because I acknowledge the fact that it's their space so this is my journey um, this is new um, but the exciting thing about it is I think I'm doing what I'm I need to do for what I want I believe it'll pay off um, the part of faith where it's the evidence of things not seen and so um, and to see things happen in the direction of what I want um, that was not happening before is very much an encouragement to what I'm doing to this jump so diligence is extremely necessary uh, faith in the, um, the positive outcome of it is extremely necessary um, wisdom meditation is extremely necessary because the the vision is I, I believe is easy to have um, the faith that it can happen um, for some of us is easy to have but the process is going to require some other things outside of just faith and vision uh, you know your attitude you know, your, your, your mood um, all of that has to be in the right place to continue so uh, meditation is a big deal for me these days more than it was before you know and um, and just watching how consistency uh, works well uh, I see for myself the uh, the manifestation of my goals uh, my goals uh, I think are pretty simple is to be a, a consistent resource of inspiration love provision um, to my daughter and whatever children are to come is uh, to be a consistent um, highly paid actor in quality productions um, to distribute perform and sell my music throughout the world um, to maintain an independent financially abundant institution of world improvement uh, to live my life according to my standards of comfort for the rest of my life uh, to share my life idea with the world via verbal, musical, scripted, and literature communication. Uh, to maintain perfect health for the rest of my life. To maintain a perfect physique according to my standards for the rest of my life. And to remain out of all unwanted debt for the rest of my life. What I see next is the manifestation of all of my goals. I am Chaz Shepard, representing 100% Philly. And from here I rise with pride.